Daddy's Fast Cash out here in a wonderful West Philly. This is with Block. This is 55th and Gerard. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, only see. This is really the board up right here. Uh, although the house is occupied, you know, whatever. Uh, that guy walking across the street there, I was going to say, he looked like an old Snoop Dogg. He's about to get his autograph, but this is the property at uh, 50, North 55th Street, 1212, and it's a duplex. So I'm going to get inside and see how bad this is or how good this is. And we will be right back with more another message from our sponsor, Daddy Fast Cash. Oh, it actually may be a triplex. I see three doorbells. Maybe one of them doesn't work or <laughs> they might have just jacked in off of one. And that's one. We'll see when I get inside. Alright, so we're inside this multi-unit. And I say multi because I can't decide if this is a triplex or a duplex. Because, you know, you'll see. I'll point it out. That's the steps upstairs. So this would be one unit. And then going up the stairs... Looks like an open unit, but it's not alone. So here we got the house. Carpet, walls. Somebody stole the fireplace. I don't know why, but whatever. Radiators. And, you know, not too bad from here. Now, now and, you know, if you like to collect mail, this is your, your future mansion. Um, this house needs a good clean out, obviously. And it's weird because it goes from okay to bad as for the further you go back so you'll see dining area not too bad like paint and carpet through the front here's the reverse and I can't get in the basement because it's blocked off and I don't I'm not I don't have a screw gun with me right now so under here I feel board popping no big deal for rugs but I want to fix that now we got that monster um don't know why but not good and uh, it means I think there's a little bump out right there which may be contributing but I gotta go outside and see what's what and I can't do that right now so look at that water's coming in that snow melt it's not really raining out uh, we got a closet here that oh maybe that goes down to the bath basement I don't know Got the bathroom where they, it's not a complete do over. I mean, you could unpink it and keep the tiles on the floor in a tub and get rid of all the other pink and you should be all right. Not a big deal. And we got back here, which looks like, I don't know, somebody really got mad at a kitchen. Maybe the kitchen tried to steal his wife. Maybe there was a love triangle and this guy just blamed the kitchen for everything. Maybe the food was so good he... He couldn't compete. I'm not going out that back door, but the windows all appear to be decent uh, in the front of the house. And there are some new windows, and you will see, sitting, ready to go. But, got to put them in. So, got the board ups in the back. Maybe broken, may not be. I think that might have just been to protect the house, but they could always come in through the hole in the roof. <laughs> Actually, I don't think there's a hole. It's just the side right there. So, that's unit one. Splendiferous. Now, and here's some of those windows I was talking about. A couple anyway. Save yourself a couple hundred bucks. This is either unit two or mother-in-law suite or creamy middle center to your Oreo where the doors on the top and the bottom lock. So we're just gonna go straight back. And we got nice living slash dining it could be or bedroom your choice um bathroom now this is where it gets tricky you'd have to pretty much shut these doors for this to be a true two unit but it could be done if you went through the bathroom somehow this is the kitchen where mama makes her cornbread or if you're spanish abichuela or if you're not Spanish and you don't make cornbread, you make your pizza pockets. Who knows? Anyway, this is the bedroom probably because you got the mirrors for the dunk, 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 down. Windows are boarded up, but 
they are in good shape so they're just boarded up maybe from the storm and this this unit ain't really too much work actually you could probably just clean the rugs and keep it moving gotta do a little bit uh, maybe do over the kitchen or paint it I don't know I don't know what you want to do some of you guys are just cheap like that and just paint everything and don't do nothing else but not me so this is the third unit there is a door so it could conceivably be a third unit and you'd be walking right into this little efficiency slash kitchen where you would probably want that up in the wall at some point and I don't know you might want to make this look a little more appealing as far as the kitchen goes and this would be your receiving area where you probably hang coats there yep and right through there it is a bathroom so this is I guess your little living dining and here's your bathroom nice for those long luxurious soaks in this tub try not to sit on the pipe in the middle and I guess yeah, it's not that big so it ain't gonna cost that much to fix do it I remember when I was in college I used to have to take a bath in these tubs it really wasn't that bad but you probably want to throw the shower thing up just an idea got more windows here and I'm really not seeing the problem downstairs and I would pop this off and let me give you the better view we got this going on this and people are calling me that's loose wire you can hear it check it out while you look at this one room that needs no nothing well daddy's fast cash is being called by loose wire so he needs to get the phone uh, yeah I'm out just the electrical panel I'll see if I can get outside for some more information this unit is like I said half good and half bad not that much of a fix-up so enjoy your Jekyll and Hyde piece where the front looks great and the back looks awful kinda like a white chick all good up front and sometimes flat in the back <laughs> hopefully nobody hates me for saying that it's an old joke and my, my people know that I play like that so hopefully you don't take that wrong daddy's fast cash look out these beautiful windows onto your luxurious new do triplex <laughs> okay so I'm outside of 55th and okay so the problem is behind this wall and it's a water melt and the gutters probably being frozen over and they're hitting the corners of the window and it's seeping into the stucco and so on and so forth so I'm not thinking it's a too much of a structural issue I think it's replacing wood around windows and taking out some of that stucco replacing it getting uh, attending to this he's jammed up you know where the water goes <laughs> direction of the water and I think you wouldn't have to necessarily you wouldn't be caught yeah see right around the window it's open they didn't finish the stucco with peeling back so yeah around these windows is the main problem and they didn't do the greatest stucco job and and the ice melt and all that crap is messing you up and right here the same thing this was the back kitchen we're getting leakage right here inside and it's running down so the water the water from the roof is not running to where it needs to run it's running down the sides of the wall so it needs to be directed away and we got a nice little yard and here's the back door and the window's good but it's open and there's the basement which I can't get in and you got a free fish tank and you got some extra snow and some trees and you got a free fence that's it I'm out of the alley but actually the outside is really not as bad as I thought because even the um, siding is decent up there so it's all up in here where the way the way the water's running gutters and this stuff right here that's what's affecting the house nothing huge but it looks ugly on the inside so gotta fix this outside stuff so then you can work on the inside that's fast cash trudging through the snow mush baby mush <laughs>